I love James 4 too. One of my favorite scriptures in the Bible set me free in some areas many years ago. Simply says, you have not because you ask not. You have not because you ask not. And if you would go and read James chapter 4, starting in verse 1, it says, what causes strife? What causes turmoil? Why are people unhappy? There are things they want, and they try to make them happen, and they can't make them happen. Then they see other people with them. They get jealous of those people. And the simple answer is, you have not because you ask not. If there's anything you want, you ask God for it. And you know this, that if he does not give it to you, then he has something better in mind and you're not smart enough to ask for it yet. <laughs> Let's get over this attitude, well, God don't love me. He didn't give me what I want. He didn't hear my prayer. No, we have to trust God. God, I'm asking you for the best that I know, but I'm a flawed human being. If this is not what you want for me, now, if it's in the Bible, then we know God wants it for us. But there's a lot of other things that are not in there that we could get a little off on. Our motives can be impure. Our timing can be wrong. And so we need to say, God, this is what I would like to have. And if it's right for me, I know that you will give it to me. Do you hear me? If you ask for something and it is right for you, God will give it to you. And if he doesn't, it's because it's either the wrong time there's something he needs to you do in you first before he brings it into your life or he's got something better in mind for you and you just need to hang on and wait and see what God does. <laughs>